Hey there, we are the Nerd Couple. I am husband, this is wife. Hello. Her hand, if you've joined us for the first time, we buy, sell, collect, retro, nerdy, gamey bits, etc. Charity shop, haul time. E. Sorry for the pulsating. It keeps trying to face tag that one. I don't know why it likes that, Crichton, but... Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, charity shop, haul time. Actually, a few games for once. Not, not amazing, but these are predominantly all either four for a pound or two for a pound. Yep. Um, this It's not great. But that's all we've got. Charity shops have been the usual not very yeah. goodness. That's good English. Um, including, we'll start with an original Xbox game. That's not in there. Um, I did know this. They've had it in there for a while, and obviously those people knew this, and that's why it was still there. But they're four for a pound. I've already got this. I might get rid of my one and keep a box, because I'm not too fussed. Um, you get ATP for it, see, X. Not too bad. Yeah, it was the case because the thing is, they're four for a pound, regardless, or like they're a pound regardless. So it could be you get one for a pound or four for a pound. So you mm. might as well find something else. And then also, MotoGP on the PS2. Woo. There was a couple of PS2 games. They're all in relatively good nick, but they they were all crap. Yeah. Is it, well, I mean, it's probably a good game, but they're not worth anything. And also, Casino Challenge. Wow. You know, it's quality when it's one of these play it ones. <laughs> But when it's God, when it's very light, light as hell as well. Uh, yeah, they are not worth anything. They will just simply go in the um, the collection. This was a ra nice random find. Mm. Thought it'd be worth more than it is, to be honest. But light year, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Get ATP for it, CEX, which is why. Sorry, God, I was in there <laughs> because we've already taken it to CEX. <laughs> because at the same time, we also got Cocaine Bear. Yes, which is like. At time of filming, came out a few weeks ago yeah, on DVD. Ago. We took it straight to CEX and got four pound cash for it. Yeah, which, yeah, I was, we were quite happy with. Hmm, it's a very strange thing to find. A thing that really looks like porn, or some sort of soft <laughs> porn. Apparently, this is something you had or knew as a child. It's something I used to watch when I was little. H two O, in in that language. If you don't know, it's about mermaids. And H two O, um. Yeah, this doesn't... There's, like, one part one of a series or something that exists yeah. in this country, and then that was it. This is obviously... This is... I think it's German. I assume... Sta second second stage, I assume, <laughs> series one, series two and series one. Mm. Um, someone is trying to sell these each on eBay for eight, £17, I think it was. Yeah, something like that. So, for 25p each... Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Weird blood... Weird... Yeah, it's like the old Red Dwarf ones, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, for the equivalent of 50p for the both of them, I reckon we could probably get a decent amount of EP mm. for 50p. Yeah. We didn't find anything looking around on this particular day where you jokingly went, we'll go in the crap one and find stuff. Yeah. We found four DVDs in the crap one. They're two for a pound in this one. That's expensive for where we live. Um, but conveniently, it was Red Dwarf 11. Red Dwarf... Red Dwarf... Red Dwarf 12, Red Dwarf 11, Red Dwarf 10, and Back to Earth. Um, I was literally talking with my mate about these the day before. Um, he was saying he we watched 11, 10, 11, and 12, and I've rewatched watched 11 and 12. Um, I'll probably just sell these straight to CX because I can get, I think, 150 each. So I'll get three quid and then keep them two because I don't have them two. I don't really care about keeping them because they're all on they're on the iPlayer and all they've literally just come back on the iPlayer. They do have these nice see-through uh, other side Red Dwarf fan will care about this probably. I don't care. Where they had these sleeves that look like the original ones. Let's have a look at the eleven one that they haven't put in a see-through box. Yeah. Why are they both blue? I don't know, they really like blue. Yeah, they were like all different colours on the other ones. Why are these all blue? <laughs> uh, um yeah, that's, that's, that's the ten one. Is it blue? No, yeah. it's red. It's red. So we've gone back to series one. Yeah, I don't have ten or back to earth in with my other ones, so I'll probably keep them. These are all immaculate, by the way. They look like they, they smelled new yeah. when we opened them. Did you have that? I remember a new smell. Yeah, it's really pleasant. And then you also got in the two for a pound, four for a pound at some yes. point. I can't. They sort of all blend in. <laughs> Jack the Ripper. Yay. Because I like Jack the Ripper, and I was told that this version is really gory. 190 minutes! Yeah. Jeebus. 
And you've got a manga. Yes. Twinkle Stars. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. Actually, technically, my mum bought you this. Yes. So, thank you. <laughs> Two pound fifty. This charity shop was really expensive. <laughs> they wanted, was it five pounds for the bigger? No, three pound fifty. I think was it for the bigger for ones or something. The thing is, this was the only one that was two fifty. All of the other single ones were like three pound or something. Yeah, three fifty. Yeah. I haven't actually looked that up. If it's worth anything? No. It's from Fruits Basket. That's why I initially bought it because I like Fruits Basket. So yeah, you know, it's from it was fourteen ninety nine ninety five in Australia. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Doll or Tim? Uh, doll, she's on your side. Doll. Doll. I found a Jane. Yeah, we went shopping around a completely different town, and all we found was the manga and the doll. Yeah. But it's Jane. But she has her shoes that I'm actually really pleased about. That's not Jane. It's Jane. It's not Jane. Shut up. From Firefly? No, darling. No? There we go. Now she's facing forward. No, this is Jane. <laughs> no, I, I mean... Wouldn't. You apparently said this is worth a lot of money. It is. Jane is ridiculously hard to find nowadays. I don't know why, but she's so... Stop it. I'm putting it in focus. No. She's so rare now. Oh, ow, my head. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not overly sure. I mean, you know, it's cute. I it like it. It's four quid. Yeah. And you reckon it's worth more than that? There are none in this country on eBay. Yeah. So, so yeah, she's quite rare. And now for smell o vision I got a ten. You've got a Mulan... Bath tea tin. I don't know, but I'm going to keep all of my little, my bath fizzes in it. If you can open it, you can smell it. <coughs> it smells really nice. Smell. <laughs> Doesn't it smell nice? I got... Give that off. Yeah. I can smell it from here. This was a quid. I yeah. mean, I don't. you don't know where it came from or anything, but... I just thought it was nice. An em- a pound for an empty tin. Yeah. It's nice. It's Disney. I like it. I'm going to use it. Because of padding. Yeah. Yeah. And keep my bath shit in it. Yeah, but it's not a better Disney one. I mean, I would rather it was like, and then the Little Mermaid or something. But I'll st- Where, I'll, I'll where's Jet Lee? Lee? He was in the Mulan. What? What? Money? The new one? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Donny. Donny Yen. Yeah, Donny yeah. was in it. But, yeah. Charity shop thing done. Blue things. We found stuff. Hands up if you think the newer Red Dwarfs are better than the old one. You know one putting their hands up. <laughs> but it's still better than most comedy nowadays. Uh, hands up if you don't like Red Dwarf. Yeah, that's because she's doing a Nazi sort of, so, you know, oh, they have no the taste. Side up. There. Now she's the queen, so she's still a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Like and subscribe uh, and all that, Jess. Yeah. Au revoir, people. Goodbye. <laughs>